few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit. Then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bad shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, oh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit, Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Oh, wise guy. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. How come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? <laughs> What'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Since it's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Alright, thanks. Keep the change. But the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Man, it does stop. And I've got hey, this old corn for pop. The lights turned way down low. Hey, let, let it, it go. snow. Yeah, we'll be right back. Oh, yeah. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I'll hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm And fires You know? And I can't still be dry But as long as it's lovely so Let it snow, let it snow and snow Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy's home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Uh, yeah. oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benici, signore, non c'è che cosa volontà. Stiamo ricevendo provvedere a quello che ci viene in mano. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino.
This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him. Work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Leo. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care if you got to sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Vito, please. You're making it even worse. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. <sighs> I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. <sighs> I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbara lives? To the right of the stairs. That's... <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> 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 we can't get out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Uh, 
You disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Maybe it's stop where we can all have fun. The fun's over, baby. Later, I say. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. Now, you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You're gonna look for one? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching a clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you can stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set, cause you know me. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, no, no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? Well, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh, thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I did was make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you gonna let me drive or what? All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a new Joe. customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. please. How are you? Uh, papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito.
This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruschi. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Hey, uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops on. You ain't a bad shot. Hey, Vito, see if you can hit the gas tank. Oh, shit. Can I leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Go right up here. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So? Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh, shit. How the hell that happened? All the movies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for your back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear the hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? Ah, oh, shit. What you doing, motherfucker?
Hey, hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Eh, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and... <laughs>